Right, so the Sidlaws. We've got about an hour free time. So max half an hour flying because I've got to get back into Dundee. Wind turbines at Michelin were southwesterly. And difficult to see on there, but the turbine up there looks to be northwesterly. But uh, Craigall, where I'm heading up, uh, you can fly the back of the hill. But if it stays that direction, I'll need to walk back down. So, got to make a call. Uh, got a breeze down here, you can see the grass moving along the side of the road. Now there are other options, I can drive on round about another 8-10 miles to Gallow Hill, which could be bang on. But the uh, best bet is head up to the farm and uh, see what the weather's doing, wind-wise. Right, so... It was a chop and change on the decisions, but decided just to stick here. Wind turbine at the farm at the bottom is showing pretty west, but with a wee bit south in it. The turbines at the other end of the hill, the big one up on the uh, between, what is it now, Kinperney and Ochter House Hill, it's showing a bit the north in it, which is less than ideal. At the low slope here, often the wind funnels through, and I've only got half an hour or so to spare for actual fly time. So, just parked up at the bottom of the road. The other access we've got is through the farm, we can drive up to the top, or near the top, but that's uh, a different farm. So we've got all the information on the mapping, uh, I've also got the MET, which is downloaded via Bluetooth from the phone. And it should be... There we go. So it's uh, still getting used to the, the new system. And it should be copied across into that box. Yep. So, let's try that one. There we go. So once we've got the rest of the system set up, it means that when we do have the laptop with us, which obviously we don't normally have it, but um, just if we're going out with students, the whole idea is you can do the MET and the updates instead of just on the mobile phone, full-sized, uh, easy to read, and eventually have printing facilities when I need it. So we can leave paper copy for folks that arrive for flying later on. Right, sheep are down and uh, time I was up. One of the big advantages of this site, we've got a good road to walk up. And when the conditions are just right, go a little bit up there if it's nice and southerly and fly up the rest of the way. Not bad. So that's something like about uh, six, seven minutes from where I'm parked and just another I suppose four or five minutes from the top. And I say it's a, it's a good site if you have to hike up. Good underfoot. This gives an idea how cold it is. Despite the water there running down, it's running down under ice. But, uh, not fully melting. So, at this point, cut off the track. <laughs> Slide down. Yeah. Yep. Cut off the track so you get better traction. Be great fun driving up here. Just don't land on that part of the track unless you've got skates on. When I first started flying here, those masts were full of microwave links. And that one I think is pretty well empty now, don't think there's anything there. BT van going down real cautious past the icy bit. It's a pity you hadn't been going up. Could have hitched the lift. 
And just coming up to this bit, there's a bird up. It's a tiny upslope breeze. Could be anabatic, certainly doesn't feel much like pressure wind. Uh, but it means at least I don't have to take off from the back side of the hill and then fly around through the gap. Or almost certainly won't have to. I'm going to cut round and head up and have a quick look there. And I might head back across, see if I can find the stuff that I left there the other week. A woolly bonnet and fly down and uh, off to the opticians to get the new glasses Nice! Yeehaw! Look that for timing now, Where's his wingman? Or is it just echoes? I think it's just echoes. And there's a wind turbine between Octor House and C Caperney. Ah, oh, yes. Worth the walk. Right. So, gantries. Still got a dozen or so. That one against the sun's pretty well empty. And there's a, a few in the Civil Aviation Authority one. And a whole bunch of our flying sites along the valley there. Right. And another wind turbine probably won't shot particularly well, but down in the valley. Again, it's showing a northwesterly. So I get a feeling it's just the sun warming up the front of the hill that was giving a slight upslope breeze here. Hopefully enough to take off without much effort. Right. Time is oppressing. We've got about three knots here coming from the northwest. So using this slope then 90 degrees around 180 and downwind back down to the pickup in the parking area and uh, we'll get down there in the next 10 minutes so I can make it in time for the optician's appointment so a quick setup But not more bow. Although the direction is wrong, it actually makes it easier for the downwind takeoff. Right, still got to pick up the camera and the gloves. Oh, yeah, very crosswind. It's going to be an interesting takeoff. Right, get the wind laid out neatly. Camera on board, gloves set up. And we've uh, got off a quick flight down. Okay, ready to roll. And that's where the wind's coming from, that way, and I need to fly around there.
wind comes down. Very short walk now, and there's the launch point up there to the right. Our lines are just landed about 100 feet short of, and pickups just down there past the gate. And down here, there's a slight breeze coming up slope, pretty well from the sun. So it'll be the anabatic flow.